well, this next video is um deeply rooted in the last video. Now, Johannes Mesherly, Oscar Grant's murderer, in my opinion, is about to go free. Minutes from now, the judge's decision will come in. Sentencing will go down. Once again, I tell the poor people of America to get off your ass. Sit down and write. Write legislature. Write laws. And there's enough of us poor people. Us poor white people. Us poor black people. Us poor Mexicans and or Hispanics. Or whatever you want to call them. Us poor Asians. There's enough of us poor people to start chipping away at Mount Olympus. But this police officer who killed one of us poor people, I'm pretty sure he's going to go home today. He's going to go home today based on a loophole. Those who are out here in this world to protect us. The ones here that are protectors to serve and protect they can make a mistake every now and then. Shoot one of us to make us all say, hey, they still have the power. Back in the days, the masters had the crackers to go beat people into submission. Nowadays, we call them law enforcement. Whose laws? Are these our laws? We're not lawmakers. We're citizens. We're poor, hungry, and struggling and when we stand in that line to get something to eat and that cop says hey what's your name let me see your ID citizen it's like way back in the days when somebody can ask you for your papers you didn't have those papers you were subject to some beatings lynchings shooting rape sodomy Whatever they felt like they wanted to do to you, they did. Say, for instance, you was face down with handcuffs on, waiting for the cops to throw you in the car. Somebody said, man, shut up, boy! And start tasering you while you're on the ground. That's torture. It's against the law to torture somebody. What's the purpose of torturing a man? You take the gun out the hand and you put an electric thing in there. You can walk around and sentence somebody to electricity when you work for the master. Law enforcement. Enforce laws on the poor people, but people like Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears and shit, they can go get cocaine and ride up and down the streets and put our kids in jeopardy, and who gives a fuck? They're going to be on TV singing and dancing and showing us some tits and ass. We're going to love it. Oscar Grant's murderer will go free. He works for the master plan. Keep the poor people down. Show them that they can be slapped into submission at any time. The next Oscar Grant is going to be white. Watch, you see. He's going to be a white college kid trying to mind his own business on the way back, you know, to his girlfriend's house, you know, because it's too late for him to go home. He's going to get shot down, you know, running because he hears gunshots. See what I'm saying? And that cop. That cop right there said, oh, it was an accident. I didn't see. I was shooting at the guy running, and people were running, and I shot him, and uh, it's okay. It's just one this week in this town. There's a poor person dying. You don't see them kill the rich kids, do you? You see the rich kids dying? Do you see the non-working stiffs getting guns placed in their face when they get pulled over because your tags is bad? Huh? Don't make Hitler talk to you like this. And I told you people not to fuck with me. I told you not to mess with me. My state of mind. Because now I'm going to tell the poor people the truth. Every shot I got 
the white ones, the black ones, the Mexicans too. Have you ever seen a poor motherfucking Jew? Ooh, poor Jewish people. How you think they living? Hmm. Hmm. It's funny when you can buy your way out of shit, but uh, Johannes Measurely will go free. Oscar Grant's killer will be free. And that gives these people permission to whoop your white ass when they see you walking the street. They assume your dumb ass is on speed. Uh, your black ass is going to buy you some crack. <laughs> you motherfuckers, long hairs and shit, goddamn beards and shit and gold teeth, bald head white boys, y'all going to jail. We're going to put some foot in white boy ass now. That's how they going to think. They can kill the niggas now. They going to be able to kill the white boys soon. Catch us poor people and shit and just put foot up on our asses all day. Constant 24 hour sodomy of the truth. I tell you in a minute, crackers don't exist. There's no such thing as a cracker anymore. But these police officers who can go up and down the streets of America, black, white, or whatever color these cops are, they will shoot your ass and not give a fuck about you, you poor stupid motherfuckers. Wake the fuck up. Sit down. Write laws. Write legis Write some shit down that would prevent a cop from just killing a motherfucker and walk away. If it ain't on the books, you can't throw it at them. Watch. Don't make me start pulling prophecies out of my head, because prophecies mean that someone will be dead. I always say no man need die, but a whole bunch of motherfuckers need to be made to cry. Think about what you've done to people. Wake the fuck up. Go out there and do something for your community. Don't sit back and complain about that Negro over there, or that white man, or that Mexican. Do something for yourself. Do something for your family and your kids. Stop hating on each other. It's time that we all rise up and wear the same colors through the streets. And let them know we're all together in solidarity. People cannot beat us if there's more than one of us. They can't kill us if our color is distinct. They don't know what we look like if we look like them. There's whites. There's blacks. There's Mexicans, Chinese, Asians, Jews, Russians. We don't need to worry about how to find a damn job when we can make jobs and create jobs without the stigma of, oh, you can't build there. You can't do that. You need a permit for that. Why do we got to pay the machine to ride the machine? We fuel the machine. Whenever you walk down the goddamn street and you pick up them goddamn cans and go turn them in to go buy another fucking beer, think about it. The next time you stand in that line to donate some blood, to get something to eat, you fucking think about it. You're not stupid enough to sit there and get on the internet and look at some pussy. Think about it. Get off your asses, boys and girls. March through the streets for something to eat more than a crumb. Think about it. You're not immune. You're not free. What kind of freedom they got you in the world where somebody can get shot in the back while they're laying on the ground being tortured? You're not free. The only freedom we can ever have is if we get up, rise up, and take it. Take it like they took it from you. Take it by putting it on a piece of paper and making us all vote on it. Make us vote for it. Take it from them. Write it down. The words... The words, the words that are used to bind you, 
like a magical spell. These words can be said and you can be sitting in a fucking cell. Magical words. Write them down. Make them count. Put them in line. Write it down. Put a paper trail to it. We can't be controlled if we control. We can't be denied if we deny them. Who are they? They are the ones who don't have to worry about where they eating, sleeping, living, or being. They are those who don't have to worry about what color they are or what neighborhoods they walk in. Those are those who can walk through department stores without even opening their wallet to pull out a cent and take anything they want off the shelf. Those are those who control you and what you do 24 hours a day. Those are the people we need to take off the mountain. Those are the people we need to write laws for. Oscar Grant's killer will go free. Time served, baby. September to November is something to remember. Time served. Or I could be wrong. We, the people, could be the ones serving time. You can hate me all you want. Hate is why I am here. I am going to unwind it. I am going to use it. Snort it. Smoke it. I'm going to breathe it. Because I was built on hate. And this is a product of your making. We will all hate you the way you hate us when I am done showing the hate that you have for us. Making us hate each other despite you, for you, and because of you. I don't like you. And I tell you because I'm talking to you. You can't hate us all because you don't know which one of us is one of us and not one of you. I have all at my disposal because every poor man has the same story and Adolf told those motherfuckers and I will tell you motherfuckers the same story Adolf told them it ain't us it is them we are the ones that are down and they are the ones that are up but one thing Adolf didn't do that I'm gonna do is take the mountain down to the people and not bring the people up and throw them over the side of the mountain burning them in ovens, frying them, sucking the souls out of human beings. It's been done. I'm about to knock the castle down and put a foot in the king's ass. We shall not live under tyranny no more. We need to sit back, read books, write laws, change laws, fix it so we suffer no more, stand with those who don't look like you and make something better. The zoo will be overrun by the animals. we shall one day soon be free and I'm not gonna be drinking no tea at that fucking party I'm gonna be sipping on what they don't want us to sip on freedom